Hey again guys. So this time what I'm doing, I had a special request from my husband. He wanted red, black, white, and gray. Not silver, but gray. So um, here I have my Liquitex colors. Um, so I have a couple of different shades of reds. And I have, of course, I've got the black, gray, and white. So what I'm doing here, I am layering them all in one cup again. So I'm not even going to do the solid colors. Um, this is all just going to be the layers in the cup. I think it looks really cool. So here I am flooding the canvas, which is laying down my white. Give it a little jiggle. <laughs> And then I'm going to start pouring my colors on. It starts out as a ring pour, and then I kind of just drag the colors as I'm swirling the cup down the canvas. And I felt like there was a little bit too much gray in that one area, so I just kind of put some more, um, some more with the white in there which makes it look kind of cool um, at the end uh, I probably should have put a different color in with the white as well but I think it still turned out good so the fun part tilting the canvas and getting paint everywhere And some globs got stuck in there, so I'm getting those out. Tilt, tilt, tilt. Wish I could have an angle where you guys can see all the tilting, but I go so many different ways <laughs> that that would be kind of difficult. kind of have my videos sped up. Um, I don't want them to take too long. Especially on these parts where I'm tilting the canvas and I kind of take a little bit of time tilting those and making sure enough paint is run off. Here I'm just fixing the corners and I keep dropping the cups. Thankfully not on the canvas this time. <laughs> So I'm just covering that corner. And voila. I think it turned out great. And I will add another little piece where it's completely finished. Thanks for watching. So this came out perfectly. You can see all of the cells that came out with it. And I think the white in the middle came out gorgeous. So all in all, I am very satisfied with this piece. Looks beautiful.